Although an extremely talented whiteout, I don't think that Terrence Marshall has gotten the attention that he deserves. So in this video, I'm going to talk about his journey to one of the biggest stages in the world. Burrow takes a shot way down the field to the right side. Hey, he's got his man. It's Terrence Marshall. Terrence's story really began before he was even born, as his uncle Joe Delaney was drafted in 1981, where he made a Pro Bowl and even won Rookie of the Year. In fact, Joe rushed for 1,100 yards, and future Hall of Famer Elvin Bethea said, I played against the best. OJ Simpson, Gail Sayers, Walter Payton, and Delaney ranks right up there with them. He is great with a capital G. A pretty high honor for someone who is only a rookie, but shows just how much potential he had. Anyways, following such a great rookie season, there was a lot of pressure on Joe in 82, but an eye injury and a player strike ended the season really before it even started. All of his play on the field was great as a rookie, but on June 29, 1983, Joe was truly a hero. In Monroe, Louisiana late today, police said that a man identified as Joe Delaney, star running back for the Kansas City Chiefs, drowned trying to rescue a child. And along with his friends, he went to Critters Creek and noticed three children struggling to swim in a water hole caused by construction work. Although he was unable to swim, Joe went to save the children and helped one out of the water while another one was taken to the emergency room and eventually died, and the others were recovered when they found Joe's body and the last kid after it was just too late. It's truly a sad tale, but one of a heroic man who sacrificed his life for others in such a noble action that he was honored by Ronald Reagan with the President's Citizens Medal after making the ultimate sacrifice. Although he died nearly 40 years ago, Joe's legacy still lives on, and one of the biggest testaments to his character is his nephew and Terrence. Sorry for the sad story, but I feel like it needed to be said. Anyways, back to the video. Are you as fast as you look? As quick as you look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny enough, I'm writing this on Terrence's birthday, so happy birthday. But anyways, back to the video. Out of Bossier City, Louisiana, Marshall was a stud at Parkway High School, and as a junior, he was already on point with over 1,200 yards and 15 touchdowns. Following such a stellar junior season, Terrence was named the Shreveport Times Male Athlete of the Year, which is quite a compliment for someone who isn't even a senior. But anyways, there was high expectations for Terrence going into a senior season that were just impossible to meet after an ankle injury ended his season before it even started. Although a sudden ending for what was likely going to be an incredible year, Terrence had already established himself as a top tier talent as a junior. Not only was he just top tier, but Terrence was one of the best wide receivers in the country at high school, and in fact the highest rated in the state. So as you could probably guess, just like practically every other star wide receiver in Louisiana history, he joined LSU to become a Tiger. Even with top recruit 5 star status, Terrence was in a loaded wide receiver room among the likes of stars like Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase. So it's not too much of a surprise that Terrence took the backseat as a true freshman. Not like it was a surprise on a team with arguably the most wide receiver talent in all of college football, but the one start in 13 games prevented Terrence from any insane production and instead he only had 12 catches for 192 yards. Although a bit underwhelming for someone who just nearly missed an entire season as a senior, it was enough exposure to get Terrence used to the spotlight. Going into his sophomore year, Terrence had become one of the top three wideouts in the offense and made his presence known from the start with three touchdowns against Georgia Southern. After such a strong beginning to his sophomore campaign, he was on a solid run until a foot injury kicked him out of three games. Once again, Terrence was harbored with a leg injury, but this time it wasn't as serious, and because of it, he was able to make it back when it really mattered. Against both Georgia in the SEC Championship and then Oklahoma in the Peach Bowl, he had two touchdowns in over 80 yards as the Tigers made the national championship. Terrence's over 650 yards and 13 touchdowns as a sophomore was a pretty big improvement, but was not the best that Terrence had in store. After stomping Clemson, it was the end of Justin Jefferson's time with the Tigers as he declared for the NFL draft, so it was finally Terrence's shot to get some love. Going into the 2020 season, there were a ton of questions, and with Jamar Chase opting out, Terrence had become a wide receiver one in an offense that was lacking a ton of talent all across the board. With a much larger target share, Terrence was able to produce from the get-go with over 120 yards and two touchdowns against Mississippi State and then demolished Missouri only a few weeks later with over 230 yards and three touchdowns. Even with his insane production, it was not enough to carry a team with more problems than answers. And because of that, Terrence opted out of the season following an 130-yard game against Texas A&M to declare for the NFL draft. Although a short sample size of only seven games, Terrence had his best year to date with over 700 yards and 10 touchdowns in just an overall down year for the Tigers. 
Nonetheless, Terrence has shown that he knows how to play the football well, and the Panthers noticed. The Carolina Panthers select Terrence Marshall Jr., wide receiver, LSU. Even with a limited sample size, Terrence was still able to gain the attention of NFL scouts in a draft full of wide receiver talent. Although he had dropped to the end of the second round, Terrence joined a young Panthers unit that is not looking half bad. Carolina truly got a steal on Terrence, from his versatility in all areas of the offense, to his physicality, size, hands, and football IQ that give a coach practically everything they want. So although he is in an offense with guys like Christian McCaffrey and DJ Moore, Terrence has the ability to dominate from the beginning. Even though there is a great deal of talent, I think that it will take a while before they can gel to the best of their ability. And upon that, Terrence has to get used to a whole new offense. So although he is extremely talented, I wouldn't be surprised if Terrence is putting up ridiculous numbers, like I'm sure some of his former LSU buds in Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase are likely going to do, or already have early on. But it doesn't really matter because Terrence has the talent to dominate like he did at LSU. It will just take some time and hard work before Carolina becomes the team that I think they can be. Just like his uncle before him, Terrence made one of the biggest stages in the world, and is not looking back. Burrow's got time, launching for the end zone, jump ball, touchdown, Terrence Marshall! Thanks for watching the story of Terrence Marshall. If you enjoyed it, it would be awesome if you could subscribe, like, and comment down below what videos you want next. But anyway, see you guys soon, and peace out.